This next song is called Power in the Blood. That is Power in the Blood. Coming from 1 Peter 1, 18, through 9, 18 and 19, uh, Revelation 12 and 11, 1 John 1 and 7, Ephesians 1, 7 and 8, Acts 20 and 28, Leviticus 17 and 11, Hebrews 9 and 22, Romans 3 and 35, Revelation 1 and 5, 1 John 1 and 9, Hebrews 9, 11 through 14, Revelation 7 and 9, um, and also that 13th through the 14th. So that's Revelation chapter 7, verses 9, and also verses 13 through 14 from that same chapter. Hebrews uh, 13, 11, uh, 13, and 20. So chapter uh, Hebrews chapter 13, and then verses 11 through 13, and then also verse 20. And then the last one, Hebrew 10, 17 through 22. Amen, amen. Now, our scripture reading is going to come from a couple of places. Uh, we're going to first look at that um, book of Leviticus. Leviticus. So, in the Old Testament there, Leviticus, coming from uh, chapter 17, verse 11, it said, For the life of the flesh is in the blood, and I've given it to you upon the altar to make an atonement for your souls. For it is the blood that makes an atonement for the soul. Amen, amen. Thank God for the blood. And then uh, uh, First Peter. So we're going to flip over to the New Testament now. Get the Old Testament. Let's go over to the New Testament in First Peter. And uh, we're going to look at that chapter 1 of First Peter. Uh, verses 18 and 19. And then uh, for some Bibles, that verse 18 is titled Redemption. And then for uh, then that, that verse 19 is titled The Cross. <laughs> Amen. So um, can't go wrong with the cross and redemption. <laughs> so that verse 18, it says, For as much as you know that you were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold, from your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers, but with the precious blood of Christ, as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. Amen. Amen. Thank God for the perfect sacrifice in Jesus' name. So again, uh, this song is called Power, Power in the blood. Amen. Amen. So, um, you know, the, um, uh, it, uh, we can, uh, as, as we start reading in the old Testament, if we, we go back and we look at the, we can see the very, uh, as far as man is concerned, um, the very sacrifice for on man's behalf, you know, God had made a uh, perfect garden had put Adam and Eve in there. And, uh, and unfortunate, 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 that Adam made the wrong decision, you know, so, and he went for the wrong tree, uh, um, uh, which we know uh, caused sin to enter the world, and therefore everybody born after Adam received that sin nature, and uh, an ungodly nature. So, um, but God gave the solution, and in, uh, in the perfect sacrifice of Jesus Christ. But when we look at that, uh, that Genesis chapter three. Uh, verses um, 21, it says, Unto Adam also and to his wife did the Lord make coats of skins and clothed them. Now, I'm, I'm going to read what the Esparge the Bible says, uh, the, the study Bible, Esparge the study Bible for that particular verse. It says, it says, In the making of coats and skins, God in effect was telling Adam and Eve that their fig leaves, <laughs> mercy Lord, that their fig leaves were insufficient. As well as he was teaching them that without the shedding of blood, which pertained to the animals that gave their lives, which were types of Christ, is, is, is no remission of sin. And this first sacrifice was laid the foundation of the entirety of the plan of God as it regards to redemption. Also, it must be noticed that 
it is the Lord God who furnished these coats and not man himself. Uh, this tells us that salvation is altogether of God and not at all a man. The life of Christ given on the cross and given as our substitute provides the only covering for sin. Uh, everything else must be, must be rejected. Amen, amen, amen. Again, there's only one way to make right uh, the sins that came through Adam, and that is from God's perfect sacrifice. And we can see back then, you know, when man sinned, um, uh, he ate from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, and uh, the glory of God that once covered God, the glory of God that once covered him, that covered him, and was unaware of 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 himself and Eve because the very shadowconic glory of God covered him. That was his covering, was the glory of God. And um, the, once he sinned, the glory departed. And uh, and then uh, Adam knew he was naked and Eve knew she was naked. And they tried to fix it themselves. Rather than going to God and say, God, we've messed up, we missed it. What do we need to do? They tried to fix it themselves as in the case of people nowadays, they want to try and find their own way to God. They don't want to accept what uh, what God has laid down as provisions to heaven. They want to try and do it either through works or do it through uh, religion. Uh, but God has shown the way is through his perfect shed blood of his son, Jesus Christ. So God himself took away the fig leaves and gave them coverings of, of, of animal skins as we read there and uh, coats of, of animal skin as we read. And the uh, and uh, so those animals became, that was, uh, you know, those those animal coats of, uh, <laughs> I, I, I should read there. Let's go back and look at that again. It says, um, it says here that, uh, it said that the, the coats of skins, that God made coats of skins, included them. But those closer skins, God just did just didn't speak that. God does speak things into existence. But that was one thing. One time he did not just speak things into existence. Those came from some animals. <laughs> so those animals were, uh, were were sacrificed because of the sin. And as we one uh, scripture says, it said, without the shedding of blood, there is no remission, no remission of sin. And um, so God gave them uh, in the Old Testament a way to atone for their sin until the perfect sacrifice will come on board. And and it was John that introduced that prophesy. John said, Behold, the Lamb of God, which takes away the sin of the world. Amen, amen, amen. <laughs> you know, the old Pharisees, old religion people at the time, they were going to try to catch Jesus. They always tried to trip him up with his words and things. And then they, then they came and wanted to know who gave him his authority. And Jesus, well, I got a question for you too. He said, you answer this question, then I answer yours. He said, he, he referred to John, the Baptist, and told him, was he from God or not from God? And then the religious leaders got off on their own. They 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 did a huddle. That's in football. They did a huddle. They said, let's huddle up, huddle up. And then they went to talking. Well, if we say he, if we say he was from God, then, uh, uh, then he going to say, then why didn't you believe him? Because John had already announced that. Hey, he said, behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. So they said, well, if he saved you of God, he goes, then why you, why you just don't believe him then? He, he told you who I was. Then they're going to say, well, if we say, if he's not from God, if we say that, then the people are going to stone us because we know the, the people knew that John was from God. And so, so then they came out the huddle and they said, well, we can't answer it. We don't know if it, Jesus, Jesus knew their craftiness. So he said, uh, he said, well, neither I'm going to answer you. <laughs> so, so we have the answer. The answer is that Jesus Christ is the son of God, the, the perfect lamb. Uh, that takes away the sin of the world, as John said. So the, again, the name of the song is Power in the Blood. You know, we can relate the, the, the blood to how blood works in our body and um, how blood is, is, is flows through our body. Um, uh, the, the Bible said that, uh, that life is in the blood. And sure enough, in the body itself, the, you take blood out of a person... <laughs> They're going to die. You know, they got these old, these old uh, horror movies with vampires sucking blood out of out of people's body. That 
and they, they suck them dry and a person die. So blood has to be in the body to sustain life. And um, and the blood does some tremendous things while it's in the body. You know, like I said, you just do a course on on on, on biology. You do a course on the uh, of um, uh, the human body, and then um, and you will see the wonderful works of the blood and how God has just so orchestrated things. Like I said, this thing is not by chance. <laughs> the body is too complex to be a happenstance, to be by chance, the evolution, all these other things. No, 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 no. God created man, and the, the body is very complicated, and uh, it's, it's amazing. And the blood itself is there to, as the blood flows through your body, it will, it will take out things that, you know, the... Um, the uh, carbon dioxide, I think it's it's called it, but it will take out the bad air, and uh, and it, and it will it will push that back out through uh, through uh, you, you breathe out the bad part, of the blood put the stuff in your lungs so you can breathe it back out, and then the um, and then the blood itself too, it will take out the, all the poisons and, and bad things in your body, it pushes out through your kidney so you can so you can take that out by way of urination. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the blood is at work. The blood is working for you every single day, every minute, every second. The blood is working for you, and um, and the blood, like I said, carries things out uh, of the body that needs to go out and distribute things uh, to your cells that it needs to be uh, to give you strength. Um, and they just like the blood uh, takes care of life. Uh, the blood of Jesus. Uh, the blood in the Bible take care of your natural life. The blood of Jesus take care of your eternal life. For all those that will receive it, and the um, the uh, the natural blood, you know, it, it has different types and things of the natural blood. You know, whereas O O uh, A B, you know, negative positive, blah blah blah, different type of uh, uh, types of blood. Um, and the thing about the natural blood is that you, if you need blood, you have to be married up with the right type of blood. And, um, and the blood itself in the body can expire <laughs> if, if they, if they have all these different blood banks and things like that. And, uh, they reserve blood to, to give to people when they, when they need, uh, uh additional blood. Uh, but there's a, they put an expiration date on that blood. So called, it can, while it's sitting in that blood bank, it can expire. But thank God that the blood of Jesus will never, ever, there's a song they say, it will never lose his power. It will never lose his power. The blood of Jesus will never, ever expire. Amen, amen. And it's come to, uh, to, uh, to take away, to take away the sin of the world. And to every tribe, to every people, to every nation, for all that we receive, the blood of Jesus will bring life and not death. And um, and uh, like the uh, uh, like the uh, the uh, the uh, the blood brings life to the body, then also uh, the blood of Jesus brings life to your eternal, eternal, eternal life. In Jesus name in Jesus name you know uh, you know the body itself um, uh, there's been types of accidents that have occurred that when um, uh, maybe a person got his leg crushed or whatever and and different type of accident and because there's a, a, a lack of flow of blood to that particular limb uh, it has a uh, when the blood stopped flowing to a limb then uh, eventually it would uh, uh, develop what's called gangrene, and um, and then if you don't, if, if that pro problem is not rectified, then that poison that's being gathered there, if it's not rectified because the blood has stopped flowing, it will move to other parts of your body and eventually will kill the person. <laughs> so so the flow of blood is very important. Some some accidents up, some whatever it was, it stopped that flow. It interrupted the flow and caused death to that part that is not receiving uh the uh the uh the, the flow of the blood. Likewise, different nations, countries have stopped the flow of the blood of Jesus. They've created their religion, they've created their policies, they've created cre uh created politics, then they have stopped the flow of Jesus to that particular country, nation, tribe, or whatever it is. And the thing is is that they have caused death death to enter into that nation country. That's why Jesus told you, go here to all the world. So we can bring that flow. We can bring that flow. Bring life. Bring hope. 
bring the blood of Jesus that will once again bring flow before gangrene set in, before that country, that nation, that tribe die and they die lost because they did not accept life. But again, that is why uh, God has brought us here. Uh, you know, I like the one of the books that the uh, bishop wrote. It's called uh, The Blood of Jesus or, or, or Blood Power that uh, uh, by uh, Bishop uh, Dak Mills, uh, our bishop in the church. So uh, I, I like his, his, his book that he wrote here on uh, uh, blood power. So, <laughs> so again, if you got a chance, pick that book up. Take a take a look at that book. Um, uh, it's it's a good book that that talks about uh, you know why the blood of Jesus is precious. Because the blood of Jesus is very very precious. It was the time you know they like I said they use uh, bulls and goats and things like that to atone for blood, but those things were just temporary. Those things could not send people to heaven. Those things only send the, the men of old to paradise and um, and they all had now those that obeyed and did the 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 plan of uh redemption plan of salvation at that time which was looking forward to what those things represented those things represented the perfect sacrifice of jesus christ so those that look forward uh to the uh perfect sacrifice being sent and they maintain the plan that god had given by the animals and think about it uh, though the person that was bringing that 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 sacrifice, that bull, that gold, whatever, they were filthy. They were corrupt. <laughs> you know, they were just they remember they had the sin nature. Adam, Adam had passed it on, but the thing is that God seen that as the perfect sacrifice that would to come, and then was not looking at the person, was looking at the sacrifice, and then was looking at the sacrifice. As in one scripture, was talking about the sacrifice when when uh uh. uh uh, Cain and Abel, when Abel bought his sacrifice, uh, the Bible said God gazed at the sacrifice. The Bible said it was like he looked at it intently. He gazed upon it. So God looked at the sacrifice, gazed upon it intently. And then uh, uh, their sin were atoned for because of what was to come. And uh, But when they died, they would go to paradise because they could uh, the perfect sacrifice still was not given. Therefore, they still not was allowed in heaven just yet. But when the perfect sacrifice came, Jesus Christ himself, when he came, amen, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm going to start dancing up here in a minute. <laughs> when the perfect sacrifice came, then um, the Bible said that Jesus Christ, he said, when a man at the, on the cross with him said, Lord, remember me. <laughs> he said, I ain't getting left out of this. Remember, I don't care about this. The other guy don't want to, want to repent, that's fine. Remember me when you come into your paradise, when you come to your kingdom. And Jesus looked at him and said, this day, you'll be with me in paradise. Boy, I tell you, Jesus went down there and, and said that Jesus died first. And because they came to, to uh, what, uh, the, uh, when they said they, they died, the, uh, they came in uh they killed the, uh, the the two thieves, broke their legs so they would die. Then they came to Jesus. He was already dead. So that means Jesus would have died first and went down into paradise. And I'll tell you that one guy, he came there. He said, what a surprise. What a surprise. He said, it's true. It's true. It's true. <laughs> and Jesus said, don't get too, it's too happy because we ain't staying here alone. He getting ready to get out of here. <laughs> Jesus said, we get ready to go out of here. <laughs> Jesus said, everybody get ready. We ain't getting up out of here. So the Bible said he led captivity captive. Ever think about those some of those guys, they said he stopped up in Jerusalem and walked around. <laughs> well, the other ones, they mean the other say, hey, we ain't trying to go back to the earth. We're going right to heaven. <laughs> when they say some came, walked around, but me and they did, they went back to heaven. <laughs> but I tell you, the power, there's power, there's power, there's power. In the blood, the blood of Jesus gives us power. It brings healing. It brings peace. It brings salvation. The blood of Jesus has made it to where we can come to the cross boldly. We can come to God boldly now because the perfect sacrifice is made. So again, we thank God for the blood of Jesus. We thank God for all that he did for us on the cross. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Are you falling and you can't get up? Are you blind where you can't have sight? Dead in sin where you can't have life? Are you dirty where you can't be clean? Are you sick?
Where you can be healed, are you broken? Where you can be made whole, are you lame? Where you can walk again, are you hopeless? Where you can have hope, are you in bondage? Where you can be made free, by the blood, by the blood, by the blood, by the blood, by the precious blood of the Lamb. Oh, there's power in the blood. Power in the blood, supernatural power in the blood. Now God became flesh, lived without sin. Then he shed his blood for lost mankind. Oh, the blood came down, bringing life to the world. No longer a need for the veil. It was ripped from top to bottom. Now there's access to the blood. His proof that we are greatly loved. Oh, the blood is for you, the blood is for me, the blood is for all mankind. With the confession from the mouth that Jesus is Lord, and I believe in the heart, God raised Jesus from the dead. Then you will be saved, saved from your sin, saved from the judgment to come. Power in the blood, power in the blood, wonders working power in the blood. Deliverance in the blood, healing in the blood, wonders working power in the blood. Oh, life is in the blood, restoration in the blood, wonder working power in the blood. Now salvation in the blood, protection in the blood, wonders working power in the blood. There's victory in the blood, victory in the blood, wonders working power in the blood. Oh, there's power, power, wonders working power in the blood of the Lamb. Power, power. Oh, wonders working power in the blood of the Lamb. Oh, wonders working power. Oh, wonders working power. Oh, wonders working power in the blood. Oh, there's wonders working power. Oh, wonders working power. Oh, wonders working power in the blood. Oh, oh, oh. wonders working power. Oh, wonders working power. Oh, wonders working power in the blood.